Hello Athlon, welcome to SOWC 101. In this series of training videos, we'll be going over the basics of Solaris Off-World Combat. In this first video, we'll be covering the controls and hopefully by the end of it, you'll be ready to earn that top MVP position. Now, let's log in and get started. So after launching the game and pressing X, you'll enter the main menu. By clicking L1 and R1, you can jump between menu options. While here, you press X to select, use the left analog stick to move up and down, and pressing circle will let you back out. Now, once you're all set, it's time to hop into a match. Just hold down the square button to enter matchmaking next. As your HUD boots up, you'll see our connecting screen, and once connected, you'll materialize in-game. So now that we're in a match, let's go over some movement. First off, you can use the analog stick on your weapon hand to control your viewpoint, or you can turn in real-world space. Uh, we offer both incremental and smooth turning options. To get around, press your offhand analog stick in the desired direction. Now, you'll notice there are a range of speeds available depending on how far you press down. While walking is great for players trying to hide footsteps, Solaris is a fast-paced game and to reach maximum speed, you'll want to click that stick in to start sprinting. Uh, you can also hold down L2 to sprint if you'd rather not press in your thumbstick. Uh, this will get you around quickly for a nice flank. On top of sprinting, our favorite way to get around is sliding. To slide, start sprinting and then press the circle button to initiate the slide. But be aware that you can't shoot while sliding, but you can press the button again at any time to cancel your slide. Uh, you can also duck, which can be done by physically ducking or by pressing the circle button while walking or standing still. You'll be using a lot of pickups and weapons while battling on the hollow field, and today we'll be talking about basic functionality. Let's start with pickups. Once collected, use your L1 button to place them in the environment. Just look for the outline to turn green and then let go to attach. Also, just so you know, they will not persist after you've been ejected. Now to use weapons, all you have to do is press or hold the L2 trigger, and that will depend on which gun you're holding. Damage dealt will depend on where your opponent is shot and the distance they are from you. Finally, on top of standard fire, the grenade launcher also offers an alt fire mode where you can use the X button to detonate your projectile on command. Now that you know the basics, it's time for some off-world combat. If you have any questions, please let us know, and we look forward to seeing you out on the hollow field.